There are currently 219 perks in Dead by Daylight. With such a large number and the constant changing meta, certain perks will inevitably become super strong or super weak. Bro, I could save this fish. Thankfully, I believe we get a solid amount of patches that nerf and buff perks respectively. However, there are some perks that are garbage and have remained garbage for a very long time. In fact, there are currently 11 perks that were available at the launch of Dead by Daylight in 2016 that have received one or fewer changes. On the other hand, if you look at something like Decisive Strike, a perk that released a few months after launch, has already had seven changes. However, just because a perk hasn't received any changes doesn't mean it needs them. Yeah, that makes sense. Perks like Resilience and Whispers haven't received anything over their life cycle, but still get used relatively frequently. Hell, Resilience was a fucking meta perk before the Spine Shell nerf. Some perks though, need some changes badly. What the fuck is this piece of shit? And I believe there is one perk that has been neglected more than any in Dead by Daylight, Premonition. I'm gonna be live as this vid goes up, so if you want to come by and watch some premonition list DVD gameplay, head over to twitch.tv slash Tony. Premonition has never been and doesn't seem like it'll be good anytime soon. The perk gives survivors an auditory warning when looking in the direction of the killer in a 45 degree cone with a range of 36 meters and has a cooldown of 30 seconds each time it activates. So why is this perk so bad? Well, it's an information perk that really doesn't give information and has a cooldown after it procs. Just looking at the killer in a 45 degree cone doesn't tell you if the killer is heading in your direction, it just gives the general location. Well, which way did it go, George? Which way did it go? And what if you're looking at them on the edge of that 45 degree cone? Their position can change quickly and you have to wait a full 30 seconds before it can be used again. The only bright side to running Premonition is that it trumps over killer stealth abilities, but there's only 5 stealth killers in the game, meaning the consistent value just is not there. We have so many information perks and I would rather take all of them over Premonition. Like look at Fogwise, it's a perk that got added with the most recent chapter. You spawn in a game, find a gen, hit a great skill check. If you see the killer, you can identify early who it is and if you don't, boom, you know it's a stealth killer. Nice. That one great skill check will net you more value than Premonition will the entire game. And that right there's the real kicker. You know, it'd be one thing if Premonition was the only info perk in DBD, similarly to something like Predator. Predator, we can all agree, is dog shit, but if you want a scratch mark based perk for killer, that's your only option. Whereas Premonition has plenty of substitutes. Even the most comparable perk to Premonition, Spine Chill, that got a massive nerf recently, is still better than it. And yet, despite Premonition being so awful, it has only received one change in March of 2019 that made the activation range 36 meters across all tiers. I feel there's so many different directions you could go for a rework on this perk, but we just haven't gotten it. I'm gonna go into a game or two to show off the perk in action, but I wanna ask you all, what would you change on Premonition to make it an actual usable perk, and should behavior focus on some of these perks that really haven't gotten much love? If you've enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like and subscribed. I wanna thank you all for the continued support. I know I say it, but it really does mean a lot. All right, we are on Gideon Meat Plant. This is gonna be a very interesting one to be on because do we really get value from Premonition if we're looking at both floors? Who really knows? But also, this being the game, you say it could have been a stealth killer, but it was in fact not a stealth killer. Is this man coming after me? Okay, he's coming after me. Let's just keep going away. Oh, it looks like he's got some range on that. So with this, also, terror radius is something that you need to make sense of. Because if the killer has a massive terror radius, there's no point in really running premonition because you're just going to hear their terror radius before the premonition actually goes through. I need to look over here really quickly. The doctor has a 32 meter terror radius. So really we only get four additional meters from premonition and it's really not going to give us too much value. I should also mention I'm running a pretty standard what I would say is a good build quote unquote good because the perks I'm running we are not that can. great. Oh hello. I'm trying to fucking talk here. You have an exhaustion perk which I have in sprint burst. Then you have, oh no. I don't personally like this. Oh no, I made a mistake. Whoop, whoop. Okay, well, see, I'm trying to fucking talk here, doctor, and you're making things difficult for me. You have an exhaustion perk, which I have in sprint burst. You have an information perk, which will be premonition in this sense. Then you have an end game perk, which I have in hope. And then you have just whatever one of your choosing. And that's why I have diversion. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I was, I was just not paying attention right there. And since we're on the hook and still have 
terror, uh, terror radius, this means that we are probably dealing with Iridescent King. So that terror radius is often going to be just on us. It doesn't really affect Premonition, but Doctor is a killer that does deal with increasing terror radius a lot of the time, whether it's from the Calm add-ons or maybe a perk like Distressing so they can hit as many people with Static Blast. Well, I'm going to be honest, this is getting a little too close for comfort. Be <laughs> I'm going to go freaking second state here. SMH, dirty, dirty Doctor. Oh no. Oh no, this Chris is laggers. Oh, he's coming after me. Well, that's very cool of you. Whoop! See you here, big guy? I'm gonna have to go ahead and run away from this. Is this pallet here? That is a pallet. Watch me snap out of it real quick. This is simply. Listen here, Doctor. I'm gonna need to have to ask you to calm down. Jeez, Lahuis! I'm gonna throw a pebble at him just for good good measure. I haven't been able to keep too much track of my premonition here. But yeah, I mean, the premonition likely pops through the floor. It's got unnerving presence, it would appear. Oh, well, he's found me again. Me and Herman. Just two mates. Living life as we should. Listen here. I'm gonna point at him. <laughs> he probably didn't appreciate that. Well, I'm looking in a direction now. He's somewhere over here, is what I'm getting out of this information. But he very well could come up those stairs too, because the perk's on cooldown. Well, that was simply just rude. I really don't know what direction this man's coming from. But he's somewhere over here. This is my premonition coming, and perhaps premonition in Tier 3 Madness is goaded. Who knows? Also, guys, make sure to let me know in the comments if you enjoy kind of the videos like this. It's not exactly the same type of, uh, you know, gameplay stuff that I always do. But I think it'd be nice to mix it up here and there, make some a little more highly uh, edited, maybe a little scripted videos for you guys. Well, he's somewhere over here. <laughs> can I finish this gen in time? I can, and then I throw this over there. He can't see me. I don't even exist. <laughs> maybe, okay, I'm the stealth god. I suppose I will go run and get this person off of a hook. I got you, Razor. More of a Logitech guy, but respect. SMH, though. Slimy doctor abusing sloppy booker. You truly hate to see it. I don't think it's been fixed, at least yet. There is a bug with the hemorrhage status effect. Not that it really matters, because you don't have to mend against a, a doctor, but still. He's over there, I can tell you that much. We didn't have that information prior, because the person was hooked. I thought he was going to come after me. Nope, nope, we hit him with a quick little cure. Okay, it, that didn't work. Nope, I'm running away. I had to get my sprint burst up right there, get a little beta roni and cheese. Is this a... Oh, that's a real pallet. We like that. A real paleta. I don't believe that's pallet in Spanish, but... Oh! Almost the biggest spingle. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Look at this bait. He's not even going to see me. All right, he's cheating. Oh, well. That is... You are getting in the way, ma'am. Please do not come after me, doctor. I did not mean any mean things I have said to you in previous lifetime. Oh, the premonition's over there. Did I snap out? I did snap out. Good thing I have this med kit, though. I can just heal up real quick. This is also a very just small map in general. Yeah, obviously, it's two floors, so there's, like, distance that you can cover. But the overall just size of it is quite small, so it's going to be pretty infrequent when we're outside of Doctor's Terror Radius. Ooh, oy vey, oy vey. relax, Doctor. Okay. Yeah, right now it's kind of looking like a pretty wasted perk at the moment. The main issue, like, let's say we ran Alert or Fogwise. He's not a stealth killer, so we can't counter it. Just hitting great skill checks on a gen, we could know the exact location he's coming from, which is great on a map like this that has two floors. You're the smartest guy I ever met. Jesus freaking criminy, dude. Oh no, not me. I've done nothing wrong. I did not deserve it. I do not. Okay, they got saved. It looks like he's kind of protecting that one gen. Oh, we do have a gen here, though. I might as well just work on this since we only have one left. I can also tell that he's directly above me because I see the shot go through the, through the floor. Uh, onto the ceiling right there. I don't know if this does anything to him, but screw you, man. <laughs> I'm throwing rocks. I mean business. 
Like, I bet you I don't move here. Yeah, I was gonna say, I bet you I don't move there and I'd be able to, to see him. He's probably just protecting some sort of three gen. I can hear his laugh. Not sure exactly what he's doing. Bruh, <laughs> this is turning to be quite a spicy meatball. Like, my brother in Jiminy Christmas. All that's happening this game right now at this point is I am just, I am just having to snap out of it. And he's guaranteed to just be, oh, well, that's a real pallet at least. That is so unfortunate. That was our best chance, I think. Ah, I've dodged it. I've dodged you. Yeah, this man's all over the map. Okay, he's coming after me, actually. Please tell me this is real. It is real. That's huge. Oh my god, I'm pre-dropping that. Get me the fuck out of here. Oh, we didn't actually care. We can keep resetting. This is a lo <laughs> this is a long game. This is much longer than I initially anticipated. And again, the only thing I'm really getting value from so far, sprint burst. Yep, premonition. We got it. Premonition just went off, but I can't even tell if he's coming in this direction. Whoop. Did all of these get thrown? No, they did not. And I just get chased away from a gamer. Going up against the doctor kind of blows on this map. I see as to why he took us here. Because man. This is kind of ass. Don't mind me, just gonna snap out of it for the 15th time. Honestly, if I didn't have premonition, I, I might have been snuck up on by the killer. This Michaela has chosen death, which honestly seems like a better alternative to this game currently. There's really nothing going that's even remotely entertaining. I got you, Chris. Maybe I don't have you. I don't have you, Chris. That's unfortunate. Okay, he's cheating. He's cheating. I'm going upstairs because no way he comes upstairs, right? He came upstairs. Hey, if it means anything, premonition works when you're dying. <laughs> Man, I'm dead. So that's pretty clutch. Honestly, huge. I knew that the killer was coming to take me to my untimely demise. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, oh, look at that. I'm fucking dead. Yep, I'm dead. All right. Sick. <laughs> so there you have it. It is quite sad that a perk that has been in the game almost seven years has only received one change and has kind of remained poo-poo throughout its entire life cycle. Premonition just has a bunch of things wrong with it. The fact that you don't actually know really where the killer's at, it's like a terror radius replacement. It's like if it's a stealth killer, you're like, ah, that's kind of where they'd be at normally. But even in cases in that last game, the doctor actually had distressing, which makes their terror radius 40 meters, which extends past the range of premonition. So I wouldn't have even mattered if, if the premonition procced right there. Plus, it goes on a 30 second cooldown. Like, what do you even mean? And I mentioned this before, even perks like Spine Chill, which has been nerfed significantly, is a much better alternative if you're afraid of those stealth killers. But there's plenty of other information based perks in the game that are just going to net you more value. Value. I mentioned kind of some of them in the video one being alert that I like to run quite a bit the killer is probably going to be breaking things throughout the game you still get the notification even if you don't see the aura so you can tell again if it's a stealth or a normal killer and fog wise get you some really early value if you can hit a great skill check on a gen in the beginning find out where the killer is at what direction they're heading and you can kind of plan your gameplay accordingly to that so hopefully you guys did enjoy this again let me know what you would do about premonition in the comments i'm not going to speak on it because frankly i'm stupid i just think that this perk's bad i can at least understand that but i'm not great at you know thinking of balance changes so i'll leave that guys to uh, leave that to you because you guys are much smarter than i am again i hope you enjoyed this it's kind of a hybrid between like my gameplay play videos and those achievement ones a little bit of scripted content a little bit of gameplay hopefully you enjoyed i kind of want to mix up some of the stuff that i bring out to you guys and if you did like it i would appreciate it if you dropped the like and subscribed if you're not already i really appreciate your guys support and i will talk to you in the next one peace